Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. As we continue our Zalanka run here, continuing to feed my kids, and uh, we just fed them a bunch of cereal. Well, we sold a bunch of cereal. Uh, I did go back and check the video from last episode, and it does look like we did get a full credit for all 15 crates of our cereal, if I did the math right. Um, I don't know where the other two were hiding that got sold, but somehow we got them sold. That being said, I, I still am not going to use the train anymore. It's just... There's too many issues with the train. It's 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 buggy until they fix it. There's just no point in continuing to use it. So that is that. Um other than that. I think we're good to fast forward. Cows a little bit low on straw, little, you know, but they're gonna be okay for at least one more month. Uh we'll top them off with straw and TMR probably next month. Yeah, I think that'll work. We did just bunch drop off a whole bunch of slurry, a whole bunch of uh manure. So we're going to make some decent money from both of those. Let's go March. Um, yeah, so no more products to sell again until next year. So we got a whole year to wait for products to sell. So the problem is we just need to sit on the money that we got for now. Um, until I know for sure that we can make an entire year. Because we need 140,000 bucks, basically 144,000 bucks ish to uh call it 150 uh to make it all the way to the um four or four years basically nice uh wind rower nice header that we technically already own but this is a lease 28 feet huh and that's tempting because it would save us how much would it cost us to buy the one we currently got Forty thousand bucks. Okay. Yep. Nope. I think we buy that one. We buy this one, and which is apparently red for some reason. That's all right. So we'll buy that one, and we will return the lease one. Have yeah, us a little bit of money, ish. Cool. Happy with that. That's a good use of our money, I think. Other than that, we are we got everything we need basically. So we don't really need to do anything else unless we find good deals like that. So I'm happy with that type of purchase. Uh, is it mowing time or is that next that April? I always forget. Uh, let's see. It is April. It's not quite mowing time yet. We are fertilized. We are limed. We are good to go there. Uh, is it planting time, actually? It is planting time for the oats. Unless we want to wait for April, because we're going to have to do the mowing anyway. It's a really good question. You know what? Let's go ahead and plant now, because we're going to have to plant corn next month anyway, which we'll have time to do as well. So let's go and grab you. We'll just go ahead and plant the uh, oats now. We're only going to be doing oats in uh, the top field anyway. These bottom two are going to be corn this cycle. And while we're doing this, we'll get the cows plenty of straw and fed up and all that kind of stuff. Basically, a good way for us to know if we have enough money is to calculate how many months until we sell again, which will be uh, January for the milk, right? And if we can make it to January on about thirteen thousand bucks a month, then we can probably we can probably use whatever's excess above that to purchase things or, or do whatever we want to do there. So, for example, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January—that's nine months. That's 10 months, which makes sense because January is two months ago. So 10 months, we would need 130,000 bucks. We're a little bit short right now, so we're definitely not buying anything more than what we just bought. That's okay, man. This our Bronco is filthy right now. Um, anything we want to adjust on anything? I don't think so. We, man, we already burned through all of that. That's crazy. Um, raisins are still raisining. Grape juice is still fairly grape juicing i guess we might be at the point now where we are not producing enough grapes for everything um because we can do what did we, did we did we do the math on all this i think we did it at one point i think i decided that at some point i would probably need to put one more grape thing down i just 
didn't need it yet, but we would need five times 12, 96, 6480 plus, oh, that's right, 640 times two, which is 13,000. And I think we have 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, we have seven, but it's a different number than I was thinking. Seven times, oh, that's right. I had totally forgotten. Okay, let me let me, let me me circle back to this. I forgot about the manure being dropped off here. You guys should have reminded me. <laughs> you might have, might have, and it might have been a bit comment. Seven times. Twenty-four times. Sixty-four. Now we're a couple thousand short, but all we got to do is drop newer in a couple of these. We don't even have to drop newer in all of them if we don't want to. But we definitely just need to drop manure in a couple of these and we will be good to go. So that's a good use of our manure, I think. Um, oh, but we would need seeds as well. Still, it's doubling up how much we get. Do we want to bother with that or do we just want to put down like one or two more of these things and just be done with it? Problem with putting down more of these might be that they might start using the water and that would be annoying. So I think we might actually just drop off seeds and manure and uh, double up our stuff. That's a really good idea. Uh, we have a little bit of manure there, so not much. How much manure do we actually need for all of these? So seven of them times five manure times 48 cycles. We only need six, really? We only need 1,680 manure per month? Not bad. We just emptied manure last month. How much manure do we have already? Oh. Yeah, we got plenty of manure to both fill those up and other things. All right. I like that. Let's... Okay, first things first. We already got... Yeah, yeah, we got you seeding. Let's get you to drop off some manure real quick while I'm thinking about it. Then we'll get you feeding the cows and stuff. I mean, we don't need all of these, but if we have too many grapes, we can always, I don't know, figure something else out to do with that. Or maybe like let it, if we fill up on grapes, then just stop putting manure and seed in it for a few cycles. Something like that. I'm assuming we drop it off. There we go. Apparently these hold a lot of manure. Goodness. How much manure do these hold? I mean, at least having one of them doubled up right now. Uh, it looks like they're going to hold about 18,000 liters of manure, maybe. Um, we'll go ahead and turn on this one. And I guess we'll turn off that one. And we'll just get you some water here in a moment. And water some seeds in a moment. And that'll work for at least one of them. And then we can get more manure on these other ones later. Again, we don't really need to fill all of them up. If we just filled up two of them, with them I think we'd have enough grapes. At that point, we might do three just to be safe, something like that. Or we could just, like I said, fill them all up and just be all right with that as well. I also put fertilizer in them. I just forgot about that. I could put solid fertilizer in a couple of them. Since we have some and we're not actually using it, that's a really good idea. We have more. Yeah, we got some more over here, don't we? Let's 
Excuse me, coming through. So manure, uh, solid fertilizer. It's actually at an even slower rate than the uh, manure. So whatever one we put that in there, it's going to last decent, quite a while, actually. I wonder if we can just fill up seed into this thing. We might be able to. That'd be convenient. Glad we found a use for that. Alright, let's go back see if we can get some seed in this, and then we will... That'll be good for now. Now, it is one more, you know, a couple more things that we do have to keep an eye on and fill up from time to time. But even if we just forgot about it and just cycled through what we just put in there, it's still going to give us a little bit of a boost of grapes, and I think we'll ultimately be okay again. Can put seed in here, nice. All right, we got two thousand in there, just about, and we can do another ten thousand, I think. Buy two sets of eight because we're going to use them at some point. All right, let's go drop this off. What's the seed rate? It's one, so yeah. Put probably put about half of this in the first one, half of this in the last one. Call that good enough for now. Went the wrong way. I was my brain was thinking about going to the uh, manure drop off. Cause that's what I had in the street the last time. Alright, 
So that's that. So let's make sure we find the right ones. You're going to be good. Let's find the other one. There we go. You need to be fertilizer and seed. Cool. Well, that'll take care of a little bit of our supply problems, but you know, not bad. Did spend a lot of money on seed there, but that's all right. We will use it. Realize that honey's not going to actually fill up anymore because of that one that's just sitting there awkward. All right, how much straw do we have in there now? Okay, we got enough, I think, to drop two in here. Writing to a baler that has a silage additive might not be a bad idea at some point, although 5% more silage, it would, you'd have to get quite a bit of silage to make that worthwhile, wouldn't you? But like, I think, um, I'm pretty sure it's these blue ones, but I just want to check those at the end. Yeah, so that one does, that one does not. So this one would, you know, these these chunk of price though. I don't think any of these other ones do though. Ah, uh, that one does. Chrome, but that's very expensive. And that is a square. You would add silage additive without a silage wrapper? Interesting. I had not considered that being a thing. I mean, you still have to wrap the bales separately, but I guess they technically would have the added additive already as part of them, which is interesting. Get the straw dropped off. And then refill this bad boy with some food. I'm missing that spot in the middle. It's so weird. Must be like a little bit of a hump or something.
Low on silage. Should be able to get enough off this next next uh, cycle, though. Should be all right. Looks all right. Slurry's all right. Really, just giving them the uh, the food here, and we're good to go. Go ahead and add a little bit of additive, just to get it used up, and then we will drop this off. Very slow, but I just want to get it out, out of the way. Right, can we use the last of this? We can. All right, there we go. So now we don't have to do that anymore. It is done. Didn't really get us that much, but that's all right. All right, cows got food, cows got straw. We are good to go. We got grass ready to mow next month. We got the uh, oats that we'll fertilize in uh, herbicide next month. And also next month, we will be planting our corn. All right, I think we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll be doing all that. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.